Hey, Rob Brendan here, creator of Empath SOS online course. Um, just wanted to do a video on what I think is um, one of the problems that empaths are encountering or have always encountered that is going to cause them long term uh, ill health. It's something that they need to become aware of and um, take measures to counter it. Remember, being an empath is a wonderful gift, uh, it has many, many upsides. Uh, but one of the downsides is that we take on other people's stuff and it causes us to become drained. And over time, uh, there's a lot of research pointing towards uh, autoimmune disorders um, and, and, of course, too much stress. Right. So um, I, I wanted to quote from uh, Gabor Mate's book, uh, When the Body Says No, a fantastic book um, linking stress and emotional stress to autoimmune disorders and uh, disease and cancers and things and I just wanted to read you a quick quote from the book so the salient stresses in the lives of most human beings today at least in the industrialized world are emotional just like laboratory animals unable to escape people find themselves trapped in lifestyles and emotional patterns inimical to their health I didn't know what that meant that means kind of damaging too the higher the level of economic development, it seems, the more anaesthetized, numbed, we have become to our own emotional realities. We no longer sense what is happening in our bodies and cannot therefore act in a self-preserving way. Ways. The physiology of stress eats away at our bodies, not because it, it has outlived its usefulness, but because we may no longer have the competence to recognize the signals. So what he's saying there is the more industrialized um, areas we live in in the world, we become anesthetized. We don't feel the emotions anymore. We become numbed. We have distractions everywhere, social media, etc. And we don't take time to go inwards and to feel, oh, actually, I feel discomfort or pain or anger or frustration. We've become anesthetized. Okay. The other quote that I found very interesting, um, he quotes Dr. Kai Song, who's an internationally known researcher at the University of British Columbia and co-author of a recent textbook, Fundamentals of Psychoneuroimmunology. Got that. He says, I'm convinced that Alzheimer's is an autoimmune disorder or disease, excuse me, an autoimmune disease, says Dr. Song. It is probably triggered by chronic strength, st chronic stress acting on an aging immune system. So again, it's somewhat that everyone's realizing that stress is a problem for us. Now, um, stress is when we perceive something to be threatening. So that comes from our perception, right? If you, if you don't see something, if you perceive something as not, not um, like a threat, it's not stressful, okay? So we can work on our, our perceptions of life to become less stressed, yeah? That's, what we want to do is go into the software of our mind where the perceptions are and clear out stuff that's not really true anymore, but is coming maybe from, um, you know, when we were kids and things. Now, so we, we know that um, we become anesthetized. We're not able to recognize the different emotions in our bodies and to be able to do something about them. And that is causing um, this autoimmune disorders and, and illness. Then I saw someone on Twitter who uh, Shane Parrish, who's really cool. I follow him. He he's he states really cool things about psy psychology and the inner workings of the mind. He says um, how to take responsibility for your feelings. OK, so number one, name the feeling. Number two, acknowledge the feeling. Number three, take responsibility for your feeling and figure out what you need. Number four, communicate how you feel and what you need. Oh, wow. So that's very simple, right? However, the big problem is if you're an empath, you feel other people's feelings. So what are you, what are you supposed to do? So the, everyone's becoming aware that we have to become, of, uh, become aware of our own feelings. But through my 10 years plus of working with empaths day in and day out, I know and, and have cleared it for them. So I'm, I just know that this is happening and I can show them that it's happening. They take on other people's emotions. We know empaths do that. 
They download it. They feel it. So what are you supposed to do when it's not your own feeling? How do you know if it's not your own feeling? Okay, so what you, re what you need to do is to be able to know if it's your feeling or not, first of all, which uh, I teach on my course. Um, but if, if you just get in touch with yourself and, and tune your intuition, then you can feel if it's yours or not. That, I mean, I learned how to do this myself. If you want to learn from me, you can learn from me or you can try and find that out on the internet. It's, it's how I did it. So you need to know, is it yours or theirs? If it's yours, then you need to name the feeling, acknowledge the feeling, you know, find out the underlying feeling. But the problem is empaths mostly, uh, they, they have no idea because they're constantly scanning the environment and picking up on people's emotions because that's how we deal. That's how we know what's going on. We feel to get an idea of what how someone's feeling okay so i just wanted to bring that up as like the, this debate and this um it's still fringe people are talking about neuro uh you know our mind and immune system and everything it's still early early days and so they're kind of saying oh we have to know about our own feelings yeah but what if it's other people's feelings you know, that's just a whole different ball game and Empaths really, really, um, it's a very, you know, if, you, if you're not realizing that, you're downloading stuff onto your computer and it's going to slow your computer down and make it impossible to work with. Anyway, um, I don't want to leave it on a negative note. You can work out if it's yours or not. That's easy to do once you know how. And um, if you, um, I'm going to be doing more videos like this and where I explain how to do it. So, um, you know, if you if you enjoyed the video, please like and uh, subscribe to my videos. Thank you. Bye bye.